Hey everyone, Finn here at Lincoln Bikes. So I thought I'd give you a quick update on the project video that we've got to do and with the six cylinder engine it seems to be now. Um, we've had a busy week. As you can see, we've been taking on more motorbikes. We've got MASH and Moto Marini in now, alongside Kimco scooters and Eco 50s. And then we've got all the, all the 125s from Zontis there, including the new cruisers which have just come in. What ace things these are. So we're really, really busy getting bikes out and mash them up like that. Getting the bikes out. So I just thought I'd just give you a quick update on the two-stroke project on some of the parts I've now collected. So we've actually got a total of six engines complete motors are in. And we've got one off-star I've stripped down one ready to, to look at there. Um, working out what I've got to do. So the plan is, is to machine new engine casings and then reuse all the components from these motors to, to hook them together in two banks of three cylinder. Um, now running six carburetors is going to be really difficult. So what I thought I'd do is buy a supercharger and then bolt a single carb on top of it. So that is going to be the project. And again, when I've got five minutes, I will be doing it. I've already got some engineering drawing done. The lucky thing is we've got the ability to... Get me in the middle of the screen. The good thing is we've got the ability to CNC machine the engine housings ourselves because we've got a CNC machine. Proper a little three-axis mill, um, which will allow me to build this in a modular way so we can extend the, the crankshaft, or join the crankshafts together and I'm going to use a part which is already made part of the clutch centrifugal center, centrifugal can I say that? obviously not um, there's the little centrifugal clutch center which is a little tiny taper fit with a keyway on it and that fits on both sides of the crankshafts so we can just use those to connect the crankshafts together making it really, really simple without having to machine specialist parts, just a little spacer to go in between. So that's the idea. Will it work? I've no idea. Little tiny, here's the crankshaft look. Little tiny thing, proper little roller bearing on it. Quite heavy duty bearing for the size of it all. It's all tiny stuff. We're definitely gonna have to work out some more cooling because there's certainly not a lot of cooling on the side of the cylinders. And they've got a big old carburetor there, which is good for about 300cc, which is what this will be. Will it work? No idea. We'll see how we go. Um, I just thought I'd show you a little update on, on where we're at, and shortly we will uh, start making some stuff. Catch you later, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.